Hello, and welcome to uh, another episode of my Max Payne Let's Play. This is episode 21 now, and we are getting so close to the end of this thing. So, yeah, C pretty much destroys everyone. Unfortunately, more of them come through the front door, but... If you just wait there for a few seconds, C gets rid of a lot of them. Presuming that's your thing, you know. You could kill them yourself if you wanted. I admit, I always feel like I'm being a tiny bit cowardly when I just let her take care of them all. But she's not there for the entire mission, the entire level anyway. I'm not sure you can call it a mission exactly. Now, when you go into this this first front room, you have to be careful because in this first front room everything's rigged with explosives. And you need to go a certain distance up the stairs in order to activate that, which is a bit annoying as well, because if you then just stand on the stairs, then the ceiling will collapse on you, and that's an instant kill. Now, I don't know whether just shooting the explosives will stop them from going off. I tried it, and that column there doesn't seem to fall down until something falls on it, so maybe you can prevent it that way. Unfortunately with a lot of them you simply don't get the chance because they go off at the wrong time, like during cutscene for example. I am just putting holes in that piano. It's terrible. So, yeah, make sure you're not on that staircase at the wrong time. And, unfortunately, those two barrels up there don't explode at any time anyway. So, that was a waste. But never mind. Hey, it's the Max Payne music. Last time you get to hear that for the next couple of levels. And then this thing will be done. If this reminds anyone who's played the first game of Ace of Plaza, uh, yes, we are into the sort of end game, I guess. The bit when you're in the final bad guy's sort of hideout and just everyone's shooting at you. Um, everyone's very hard to get rid of. As you can no, see, there. I'll take the first floor. You take the second. Okay. I'm not sure I can. Incoming. As you can see, I've edited out the uh, the the start screen, the start menu again. Uh, it's a really good idea to just run straight in here because sometimes, as you can see you can manage to surprise that guy whereas otherwise he just suits you from in there whilst you're out in the garden and he's better at getting rid of you that way So we have the final episode of Lords and Ladies, which I'm going to show off just because it's the final one. He gave me the seeds that grow into my great treasure. Mama, Mama, my little Valentine. It happened years ago, but I can still hear the voice of my Lord calling out to me, saying, "My lady." My lady. Have I sentimental drivel? <laughs> no, then. <laughs> me. 
Unfortunately, I seem to have messed the TV where you find out that Jim Forward survived the earlier attack on him. And I'm fairly certain it happens before this level. So, sorry about that. The truth is that I actually heard about that on the internet. I've never actually seen it myself. The I've heard about it from various different sources. I believe it. You know how sometimes you hear about cheats and and glitzes and that someone's just made them up, basically, and written them on the internet and you don't believe them. But in this particular case, I'm fairly certain it's a real thing that Jim Bavora survives. So, I apologise too often, and I'm aware of that. I do it on here, and I do it in my personal life as well. But I think I was quite... Look for Woden or Vlad. Unfortunately, more of them come straight through that door that I wasn't paying attention to. But, I think that I was quite, sort of... I gave you the silent treatment a bit in the last episode, and I wasn't that interesting. It wasn't a great episode, so I'm just trying harder with this one. There's, well, I, I suppose I can make an excuse and say that there were some unpleasant things going on with me at the moment, and that's true. Uh, I'm not going to share them though. Uh, but I thought I'd share a couple of things, just sort of... I don't want this to be a vlog, you know, uh, a video blog. Um, uh, I hate the word vlog. It's, it, it sounds nice, but it's, it's something that could only come sort of during the internet era where people can't be bothered to use more than one word for things. That's what we do now, like selfie for example, it's an okay sounding word, it was just invented because we can no longer be bothered. The internet generation can no longer be bothered to complete a coherent sentence. More than one word is just too much for us. But yeah, I don't want to share too much personal information. I think that might be a bit dangerous, to be honest. I mean, um, I think it's easy enough to get hold of my email uh, if you just look on my channel. I don't think it's that hard to locate. And so I don't want to reveal too much about myself, but I think I might mention a couple of things despite that and despite the fact that I don't want this to become a vlog and just see how that works because I'm still doing that. I'm still working out how to do this. I think I'm doing better than I was back when I was doing the Let's Plays of uh, the, the Crash Bandicoot um, karting game but which you should not check out because it's dreadful. I that's that's terrible advertisement, but good it should be because you shouldn't check it out. It's dreadful. But yeah, I am gonna tell you that I'm going back to my parents for Christmas in a couple of days. You know, tell you that and see how it works out. I am recording this in. December. There's a lot of sunlight out there, actually. It's a very mild December this year. Uh, hopefully that's not too boring. I wouldn't have it any other way. I'm so glad we are together in this. Yes, sir. Woden and the gold are in the panic room. All we need to do is get in. There is no rush. It's not like they are going anywhere. The explosives are in place, sir. We are going to make a beautiful exit. 
Woden's bodyguards had betrayed him and joined Vlad. There was still time. They hadn't gotten to him yet. The panic room was at the back of the manor. Saxon Payne, they're already inside. They're extremely dangerous. We need to stop them before... Mona was still on the case. That seemed a little unnecessary to me. Seems like she could just sneak past him. It's best if this was one of the Hitman games instead of Max Payne 2. Anyway. Let's have a look at the last episode of Address Unknown. The poet Poole, in his poem, Somebody's Been Wearing My Face Again, wrote, In this hall of mirrors, built by liars, I am a pale reflection of myself. I had escaped from the Pinkberg Mental Institute. I was lost in Noir, York City. I couldn't find my way back home. John Mira had made me a killer. I had become him, John Mira. Maybe I had always been him. John Mira? Yes, this is he. This is John Mira. Welcome to the next level. So, um, I'm hoping to see my parents, as I say, they're about, well, they're, they're a couple of hours away on the train, uh, should be a good time, um, haven't seen them for a few months, so, hoping to see my sister as well, if she isn't working. She works at hospital, so... Has to do shifts, and uh, I've heard that hospitals get busy this time of year, so we'll see. You have to be really careful about him because he throws the Molotov cocktails at you, and they're one hit kills. So I think that's all I want to share about myself for the moment. We're getting close to the end of the episode anyway. But yeah, I'll I'll just keep on making these things for a while and and trying to choose what style I think works for me. Wounds in his panic room at the back of the manor. You do not want to fall down that hole, or you'll be starting this mission again. Now it's a good idea to stand away from the door like that. Just in case there's anyone in there. You will be going through that closed off uh, red uh, sex in there eventually but not until the next level there's a bits of photos of Alfred Roden with various people there I think I couldn't see it for that long but I like this scene. Looking down on it like this, and the two meet in front of this door. This way. Snake. Little bit of um, symbolism from um, 
paradise lost there, the Long serpent wait. and the Stop. Garden of Eden. This is love. Which gets referenced in this game a few when times. Someone drags you from the wreckage when you have given in, ready to just lie there and die. I told you not to come here. It's my job to clear up this mess, and you're a part of it. Throw away your guns. This is love. When someone, no matter what the cost, shows you there is hope, a choice, that you can put down your gun. See? I can't do it. You're a bastard, Max. This is love. Love hurts. And we're pretty much at the end of this episode now. I'll just let you enjoy the cutscene, and I will see you next time. I was time. so looking forward to you two killing each other. Ah, oh, you can't have everything. I had been here before. Ground Zero. You are making me look incompetent by refusing to die. Stop. I am sorry. Enough! A bomb went off in my head. The bullet lodged in my brain moved to fatal, microscopic distance. The killing has gone too far. I have only begun. It's better to reign in hell than serve in heaven. You flatter yourself. Demented fool! I felt the rise of that old familiar feeling. I hated it. I welcomed it. Everything was clear again. No more ambiguities. No more questions. No gun when you need one. <coughs> one last thing left to do. I was compelled to give Vlad his gun back. One bullet at a time. Give me a gun!